and we're continuing our top our top recurring characters on DS9 and we're going to talk about Lita played by Chase Masterson now again this is why DS9 is amazing they take this one dimensional kind of how do I say this Stereo, stereotypical kind of one-dimensional character like Lita, who we all loved, right? You know, for obvious reasons. Um, and turn her into a three-dimensional character that you care about. They put her together, together. <laughs> they put her together with Rom, and it's like, what? You know what? They tried to pair her with Bashir, just didn't work. I'm not sure what 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 the writers were thinking, if it was a test to see if it was going to go anywhere, or if that was just kind of a, a thing, or what their plan was. But I liked her with Bashir. I found, I, I found that relationship very interesting. Um, but I loved her with Rom. And I, I love the episode where uh, they're all on strike. She's really good in that. She loves Rom so much. She just loves him so much. And they're just so good together. I just love them together. And I love her. You know, she had a lot of silly moments, but she had some good stuff too. But putting her with, with, with Rom and then uh, Nog as her, her stepson just made this dynamic just so much better. So thank you, Chase. Thank you, Lita. Thank you, producers. Thank you, writers, for creating Starting out with kind of a meh character and just bumping it up like we do on DS9 and making it a phenomenal character. So there we go. Hey everybody, be sure to live long and prosper. <laughs>